Okay, so <laughs> somehow my very strong husband was able to put this trellis up even though we had the wrong drill bit. We accidentally bought the wrong drill bit for this, which is this one. That's the wrong one. We needed one of these uh, 532s. We got a 532, but we got <laughs> a regular 532 that went into like sheet metal, wood, all this other stuff. We needed one that would go into concrete and specifically concrete block because that's what we're working with here. That is so much better. <laughs> Like, a million gazillion times better, huh? Yeah. That looks so good! Yeah, I like it. Do you need a short, quick guide to get started in wildlife gardening? Well, turns out I've got just the thing. I just came out with a new free ebook just for you, and it's called A Wild Approach to Gardening 101. And it's available on my website today at macylou.com slash shop. It's free, so go check it out. What do you have to lose? Hey guys, can you do me a quick favor, pretty please? Could you hit the like button and the subscribe button under this video? It really helps me know which videos resonate with you guys. Now let's get back to the show. Hello everyone, welcome back to Wild Approach in today's video. It's just kind of a continuation of the previous pipe vine video where I planted um, Aristolochia tomentosa. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Aristolochia macrophylla. Now, this is the macrophylla. I'll show uh, up close images of it. I've noticed that the leaves on the macrophylla is much larger than the leaves on the tomatosa. So that's of note. Um, I'll show you one of those right now. This one has really big leaves on it. Um, so this one is the one that is actually native to my county. Tomentosa is native to my state, but not my county. Macrophylla is native to my county. I live in Knox County. So if you didn't see the previous pipe vine uh, video, then let me just quickly explain why I'm planting this plant. So I'm planting pipe vine plants because it is the host plant to the pipe vine swallowtail butterflies. And the pipe vine swallowtail butterflies are one of our most beautiful butterflies. They have beautiful blue iridescence on their dark gray or black wings. So they're gorgeous butterflies and they nectar on a lot of different things in your garden. Um, a lot of the similar things that other swallowtails would nectar on, right? Um, flocks, verbenas, um, uh, purple coneflower, things like that. But in order to complete their life cycle, they have to lay eggs on pipe vines or on Virginia snake root. Virginia snake root is not the same thing as white snake root. They're totally different plants. Virginia snake root is like a little ground cover and it has uh, flowers that kind of resemble wild ginger. Um, but to my knowledge, wild ginger, since it's in a different genus, wouldn't be as related as, you know, I don't know how related wild ginger would be to these plants. Even though it looks like it's related, I don't really know what the scientific relation is. So, for my purposes, I'm going to tell you the only species that I know of that we could plant in Tennessee for this, um, to be a host plant for this butterfly would be those three species. It would be Aristolochia 
uh, macrophylla, Aristolocha tomentosa, and Aristolocha serpentaria, which is the Virginia snake root. But in this video, I'm planting Aristolocha macrophylla. And as you can see, I already have some trellises here. When I did a little bit more digging today, I discovered that a better um, support system for these vines is a cable system. So just keep that in mind. If you want to grow these plants, it might be better to install a cable system. A cable system is usually where you would put a um, some kind of metal cable from your like eave of your building in this case and you would hang it this way and then your vine could twine up the cable up to the wall and the building and the eave right so I found that out today um, I knew you could use that but I didn't know that was the better method of of support system so for now I'm going to use these and I'm going to um, use these until they won't work anymore basically um, when they're young they should grow up these pretty well I think but as they get thicker they might need the cable system so as they get thicker I might need to install cables that come down but the great thing is is hopefully they'll still be short enough that I can reach up there and I can put the cable system in and just transfer them to it just by letting them grow up it on their own. So that's the idea. Um, so really what I'm doing is I'm planting, you know, I've already planted two plants of the tomentosa species and now I'm going to plant two plants of the macrophylla species. And in case you don't know what this area is, this area was where my compost pile was and I dismantled it and that's where all of the compost was, was right here. So this is probably some of the better soil in my yard, um, potentially, because I had a compost pile here for a couple years and let it break down. It was a cold compost pile, not a hot compost pile. So there's a difference. But um, when I was preparing this spot, I realized that it did improve the soil quite a lot in the first, I don't know, three inches or so. So it, it improved it quite a bit and I have a lot of leaves in this area. It's going to give it a lot of organic matter over time. But um, the other thing is, this is a, what I think is considered open shade. Open shade from everything I've read online is where you've got a wall or you've got a tree or you've got something that is creating some shade, some shadow, but not so much that it's closing the canopy. For example, a building can have this short little eave and have a wall and create a shadow and you can still have an openness up here. And we have a lot of openness up here. Um, especially once I trim all these branches, which I am going to do. Um, when I trim all of those branches off, it's going to open this up even more. And so what will be great about this is these are going to be sheltered a little bit from the elements because they have this garage wall. We're facing northwest. And... Um, it's, so it's sheltered for the most part, but it's still going to get some, I guess, ambient light. It's going to get like quite a bit of light from this side and from that side. And in the middle is going to be shady. And so hopefully this vine will be happy because hopefully it will be able to grow toward however much light it wants to get. Does that make sense? Guys, don't forget, I have these hoodies available on my shop and it's, it says sassy frassy. And if you love sassafras trees as much as I do, then you might love these sassy frassy, sh sassy frassy shirts. That's hard to say. Um, I've got hoodies and I've got t-shirts and I've got, um, child size shirts as well as adult size shirts. So check it out. I prefer this red hoodie because it reminds me of fall color, you know, the reds, oranges, yellows, all the bright colors. And so when I think of sassafras, 
I think of fall color because they usually have spectacular fall color. So don't forget to check this out in the shop. I'll have the link in the description. All right, so I guess I'm just gonna get started planting these.
Well, everyone, they are planted. We've got the two um, Aristolocha macrophyllas that I planted today right here. And I also have the Aristolocha tomatosas next to them. So it's every other one. We've got the macrophylla, then a tomatosa, then this macrophylla, and then another tomatosa next to it. So we will see which ones do best. I like to plant multiples of each thing just to see what survives and just to make sure I have something that survives. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Brand new items are now available in the shop. Thanks so much to viewers like you for supporting the channel. To support the channel, like the video, comment, and subscribe. You can also support my work by buying art from me at macylou.com. Thanks for watching!